Well, it's always the scandals that make for interesting news. And in this year's mundane federal election, thank God for Family First. Today we speak to Queensland Senate candidate for Family First, Wendy Francis, who last week landed herself in some hot water after making comments on Twitter that likened gay marriage to child abuse. The Twitter thing was just um, outrageous because, you know, I think like half a million people um, have been watching the tweets. But I, as I say, I'm not, I'm not a huge Twitter and I, I don't really understand the tweet. So what was the offensive comment? And if it wasn't Wendy who posted it, who did? And why did they have access to her personal Twitter account? On my mobile phone, I got the tweet, tweet or whatever you say, myself. Yeah. And I just immediately thought, oh my goodness. So I went in and withdrew it, but by then it was out there, you know. How do you think someone hacked into your account? Oh, they didn't hack. See, people, like volunteers, we don't have any staff. Oh, yeah. So volunteers have, your... yeah. I see. Yeah. And you have your suspicions. I immediately you changed it. Yeah, I do. There are about nine Twitter accounts in my name at the moment. Only one of them is actually mine. Things are being tweeted that I'm being that I'm supposed to have said that I didn't say at all. I am not a hateful person and I would never say anything that would uh, purposely hurt anybody. So in that case, where on earth did this mystery staffer who has since been disciplined get these views it from? Because it was a misquote really because I, I did say that I was worried about the emotional distress for a child. And what I did say was that to deprive a child of having a mum or even of having a dad, to deprive a newborn baby on their birth certificate, to say that that birth certificate will only have two mums or two dads and not a mum and a dad, has the potential to cause emotional distress for that child. I'm happy to take the blame when I've done something wrong. I'm happy to, to apologise if I've upset people. Um, I'm really up to the fight, but it has been a dirty game. to take game. the blame. Mm -hmm. But you just said you didn't do it, but you also apologised. Isn't that a bit of a contradiction? I apologise because it did come from my Twitter account. Even though it wasn't you. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't tweet. <laughs> I do Facebook really well. I love Facebook, um, but I actually don't tweet. So the, tweet, the Twitter was not mine. And if you found that hard to follow, then you're not alone. But whether it's tit for tat or twit for twat, one thing's for sure. In this election, despite emphatically denying that same-sex couples should be allowed marriage rights or to have children, Wendy is still certain that... Everybody in Australia and Queensland has equal rights, and for me, gay people have equal rights as well.